Hello and welcome back to the Sonador Broadcasting Service. It's a beautiful, warm Saturday evening here in California. And as always, I'm your ever faithful host, Sonador. We're going to get started in a moment here. I've got a surprise for you. Some of you may remember it, some of you may not, but we'll get to that in just a moment. First things first, we've got a little business to take care of. That's right, you and me, mano a mano. And a little thing called straw poll. Tomorrow is Source Mod Sunday. And I need your input for the next game we're going to play. We have Infra, Research and Development, Mistake of Pythagoras, and Black Mesa as our choices for this week's Source Mod Sunday. Cast your votes. We'll tally them at the end of the screen, and uh, we'll see what we're going to play. 
Now, with that out of the way, we can get to the fun part. And the fun part being, I don't even know if this is going to work. This game is older than old. Uh, this came out, I think, back when Windows 2000 was popular, I want to say. We'll see if uh, OBS can render it, and if OBS can't render it, we'll just switch to monitor capture. But, um, let's see. I can't, no, I can't even get this to go full screen. And it's stuck 4x3, so here's what we're going to do. Let's mix out game capture and add a window capture. Just a moment. There we go. We got something now. Let me arrange this. Some of you might already recognize what is happening here. Transform. Center to screen. There we go. That's it. It's Pets 5. This is an old game I got for my birthday. I want to say like my 11th or 12th birthday, I think. But uh, let's call out our friend. So excited to see you guys. Hang on, I got to turn it down just a little bit because it's kind of loud. Come here, buddy. Say hello to Mizu. It's happy to see you. But this game, holy Moses, this game entertained me for hours. Hey, hey, stupid. Oh, there we go. Now we got his attention. Oh. So, Mizu's not the smartest one in the bunch, in case you didn't already know that. But, um, this game is kind of amazing. It is so patently early 2000s. It's just... Oh, I, it would help if I transitioned, huh? There we go. Now you can actually see what's going on here. Thank you, Sleepy Fluffer. Say hi to me, Z. We'll try that one again. Pets 5. Go get it. There he goes. I think Mizu's afraid of the tennis ball. I'm pretty sure Mizu's afraid of the tennis ball. Yeah, carry, carry your food bowl around. That ought to do it. Sweet flips. But anyway, let's go see what else we can get up to, because it's kind of boring just hanging out in the kitchen. We can go to our backyard. We can go to the beach. We can go to the family room. We can go to the fantasy castle. And we can go to the salon. But one of these things is not like the other. Here we are in the fantasy castle. There is. I think I will have a friend join us in a little bit. Put him in the toilet. No, Kaizak. I'm not going to abuse Mizu. The stream just launched. I don't want to start any controversy with, uh, with PETA as we start off. What is this? That's catnip. Yeah, I know you're bored. Hang on. Go get it. Go get it. Mizu's just so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. It gets more fun when we get another dog into the scene. So let's go to the adoption center. I'm going to recreate what I had originally. So I have Cats 5 installed too. We could get a cat in here, but I don't know how Mizu's going to react to the cat. Because they will fight with each other. They really don't like it. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. Dying. Let me get a dachshund to start off with. I seem to remember... Um, there was somebody on Tumblr who had this game and had a whole ton of mods for it. And everything just kind of devolved into... Um, 
like they all turned into hell orbs. It was just the best. And there's little things you can do with the scene too. You can interact with little things. It's just, oh my God, it's so patently jank, but it was so good. I could waste hours on this. The mice are attacking the water bowl. Don't ask me why. Come here, you little shit. Knock it off. <laughs> That's one of the things you can do, is you can abuse the mice for being shitheads. So, some dogs like the, the automatic ball. Some dogs are absolutely terrified of it. Let him go. But this game is deceptively simple to mod because if you look really close at the characters on screen, they're made out of circles. They're like that one Super Nintendo wrestling game. <laughs> look at Scrunchy. Scrunchy's getting jealous. He's gonna start barking at me in a minute. Now Mizu's jealous. You can't ever win in this game. When you have two dogs in the scene, they'll get... See, they'll bark for your attention. It's just the best. I'm gonna feed him some chicken treats. Come on, Mizu. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. I think, I think Mizu is afraid of the chicken treat. All right, come here, Scrunchy. Oh, good boy, good boy. No, not for you. Good boy, Mizu, you tremendous fat ass. What's wrong with you? That was for Scrunchy. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> you tried. They're just too excited. They can't do anything. The mouse. The mouse is after my treat. Look at him. It's going for gold. They're after the treat. They are on patrol. God, I keep getting them right when they start running around. <laughs> There's such tremendous spazzes. Will you get out of here? You too, you little white shithead. He'll hide from your cursor. See, he's trying to hide behind the water bowl so I can't pick him up. Come here, shithead. Knock it off. They're ignoring the chicken treat. I don't believe it. There it goes, Mizu. Mizu got the chicken treat. There's lots of stuff you can get. Um, I have the full toy case because I'm an, I'm an impatient bastard. Um, I played this game for months as a kid and I never got all of the items. You have to go to these little... Let's see, what... So you see how spasmodic these dogs are. Oh look, it's Mr. Bones! Sorry, I didn't, I didn't put up a skeleton warning. You only have one pet out to play a game, including hosts. All right. Mizu, I love you, but you're kind of a spaz, so I'm going to put you in the carrier for right now. There we go. So you have to play these mini games and try to get the dogs what you want them to do certain things. Yeah, see, Mizu already stepped on one of the things and lost the game. Come here. <laughs> Scrunchy. There we go. Good boy. All right. Let me see if I can get one time to win this game. Stay there. 
<laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. No. Come on. Come up here. There you go. Good boy. Come on. You can do it. Put down the jack-in-the-box and get your stupid little hot dog wiener dog butt over here. <laughs> All right. We will try to brute force this. This is so bad for your pets. Okay. Evidently, I missed the other note. There's another note we gotta play, and I don't know which one it was. Maybe it's the purple one again. I don't know. Nope. Probably not. Was was it blue? Okay. Come here, dork master. Nope, it wasn't blue. We lost the game. But anyway, you have to play these stupid little mini games. And um, that's how you get toys. If you win the mini game, a toy will appear here and you can store it in your carrier case. But I just unlocked everything. Some things are kind of unique. If we go to Arabia... Well, not easy. We can do things like... We can charm the snake out of the, out of the basket. Blue, then purple. Yeah, that might have explained it. The games are super jank. This one, you have to, you call out the snake. Oops, I can't do that. You call out the snake, and then bugs will run out of these vases downward-wise. And you have to get your pet to run across and touch each of the bugs before they reach the bottom of the screen or you lose. They're, they're like, they're incredibly difficult. Hey, you two play nice. You two play nice. They're having a conversation. I'm not going to interrupt them. <laughs> the behavior they programmed into these dogs is so good. You, you go play the modern pets games. I think that's not actually an invitation to go play them because the modern pets games are awful. They're not even developed by Mythos anymore. Oops, I didn't want that. That. Um, they're, they're like Wii, Wii and DS shovelware grade games now. Scrunchy, leave me alone. Me's is trying to eat. Get your face out of there. What's the matter with you? Come here. <laughs> Mies is like, excuse me. The look on Mizu's face. Oh, look! It's Pharaoh. Oh, I don't think they like him. Oh, maybe they do. Maybe they do. Aww. Aww. What in the hell was that? Oh god, they're starting the carpet bombing. We're out of here. We're out of here. This is Welcome to Pets Hell. Easy you stinky butt. Come here. <laughs> Scrunchy's laughing at him. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like an eight-year-old girl playing this game, but who cares? What? You want attention? Come here. 
<laughs> he doesn't like it. He's gonna jump out. <laughs> he does not like that at all. Mizu's traumatized. Listen to Mizu bark. <laughs> Mizu does not like it. You two behave yourselves. I have so much shit in here, I can't find my spray bottle. Stop it. <laughs> oh, behave yourself, mister. You too. Calm down. The torture has yet to begin. All right. Get some food and water out here. They're still they're still pissed off at each other. Those baths ruined their moods. That's okay. That's all right. It's Mizu. Or it's Scrunchy. Come here. They are so mad at each other. There's nothing I can do about it. There you go. Now you get chainmail on. What are you going to do about it? I can't even pick up the night hat. Something's wrong with it. It's okay. You can be a viking. Same difference, right? <laughs> what do we want Mizu to be? I think Mizu needs to be the sheriff. Mizu clearly needs to be the sheriff. Just as soon as they figure out where it is. Mizu, I can't see you down there. Come here. I hate that. You try to put them on the floor and you wind up dropping them. And it's just the worst. Even on the internet, I can't abuse animals. This makes me feel like a bad person. What is this? Reindeer pants. Yeah, no, not quite. But you can do all kinds of amazing stuff. Mizu likes it. <laughs> His bark took on a whole different tone when I gave him the hat. He's slipping into a different personality. Oh shit, I didn't mean to take that off. No, you can have it. You can have it. It's hard to pet them when they've got costumes on. That's a thing. Alright, let's go in the backyard. Oh, my roses are coming in. Neat. Somebody's go-karting around the neighborhood, evidently. <laughs> Mizu, in pure Mizu style, is afraid of everything and despises the watering can. Will you get out of here, you little shit? Oh, look, it's the rabbit. The rabbit has come to play. The, the strange part is the rabbit barks. Just a little jank there. I think my pets are traumatized. Okay, this guy needs to quit go-karting around my backyard. It's starting to get annoying. But anyway... These roses, I can take, as soon as I figure out where they are. Nope. There are plant pots you can get. And I might not have them. There's a secret here. The rabbit is a shithead. And will fuck with your pets in the worst way possible. I used to hate this rabbit as a kid. Now, being that weird 2D on 2D on 2D game, you do get some 
perspective weirdness. <laughs> Scrunchy is scheming. Look at his stupid little scheming eyes. Look at him. Oh, never mind. I made him sad. Now Scrunchy's mad at the water bowl. Oh my god. Where else can we go? We can go to the South Seas. Oh no! It's the pirate ship! They're having a wrestling match. That's definitely what they're up to and nothing else. All right, you two behave yourselves. Well, at least they're having fun. That's what counts. I will distract them a little bit. So this game, uh, when you first get it, if you just get Dogs 5, it has kind of a game-breaking bug where they'll go to eat out of the bowl like that. And before they can eat any food, their collision model will bump the dish so that they can't eat and your pets will slowly starve to death and it's just the worst I mean, of course this is like i think this is an e for everybody rated game so your pets don't starve to death they just get taken away from you and i was just i felt like the worst pet owner on the planet There's a, there's a host that's supposed to come play with us, but it's kind of unpredictable when he shows up. But I have to show him to you because he's just ridiculous looking. Yes, most definitely. This is a Ubisoft game. It's developed by a company called um, Mythos Studios, M-Y-T-H-O-S Studios, and published by Ubisoft. But this was back when Ubisoft wasn't quite so bad. This was back in the way early 2000s. So, oh, there's Admiral. Look at him. Look at how ridiculous he looks. He's literally a bulldog with a mustache in a sailor's costume. And he's massive. I mean, Mizu's a German shepherd. And look at how big he is compared to Mizu. Forgive me if I'm a little bit slow. I may or may not have woken up just an hour ago, and I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Admiral has it. He's taken control of the ball. He's dropped the ball. The Admiralty has dropped the ball. But anyway, this was meant just kind of to show off the game. I played it a long, long time ago, and I have fond memories of it. And I actually found it, um, or at least the images I took of the CDs of it, on my former external hard drive when I was decommissioning it because it was reaching the end of its life and I was like oh hey I still have this I figured I'd share it with you guys at least once so you could if you've never seen it before you could share in the wonderment that is Pets 5 this was as far as I'm concerned the last good Pets game 
that was ever produced. The rest of them are just throwaway shovelware garbage. And uh, for those of you that have, can come relive it. Just a little bit. Aww. Scrunchy. They'll do that. Your cursor is, is like, it has a tangible presence in the game, so they'll interact with it. Like, Scrunchy came over and begged for a little bit of love. The, the, the behavioral programming in this game is just... Ah, uh, the production value is so high for what it is. And that's what made it good. Oop, I'm petting Mizu kind of off screen here. There we go. And now Admiral is going to bogart my fresh water supply. He doesn't like the water bowl. But anyway. There's a little bit more we can show off. There's um, the Asian temple. We got the, the sleeping monkey with the unibrow. And this is a... If you click on them, you got to do a little, like, show and tell kind of game, like a dog show kind of game. He gives you a long beam, and you've got to make them walk from one end of the long beam to the other. There is the circus. Oh, this is neat. I forgot about this. So, here's the circus ball, but the funny part is, if we... Oh, maybe not. Maybe it uses... Oh, it uses the confetti balls. It shoots the confetti balls. And if you shake them enough on their own... They explode into confetti. You can train your pets to do tricks with, like, the hoops and stuff. Oh, look, it's Bailey! Bailey with his little boots. And you can make balloons. You two play nice. I think if they play with it too much, it pops and scares the shit out of them. I think Mizu's afraid of it. Ow. Bailey doesn't know what to think of it. <laughs> Bailey's face is so patently, who the fuck are these nerds and what are they doing in my tent? You two behave. Anyway. Go to the snow scene, and the best part is you can scoop up snowballs and abuse your pets with them. <laughs> I don't even know what this dude's name is. It's, it's his name flashed on the screen for a second, but I couldn't even see it. the big dog for some reason. <laughs> They're good sports about it, at least. Oh, hey, Panic. <laughs> yes, throwing snowballs at your dogs is definitely animal abuse. You can draw faces on the snowman out of these horrifically pixelated little bits of coal. So 
see, you can go to the Wild West. So your pets can drink out of this, actually, as long as you keep it full. Oops, didn't want to do that. There's the gopher, and the gopher is is horrifying. Gopher is just crazy looking. Looks like a gremlin. Oh, and for some reason, you can store hairballs. You can store hairballs in the in the carrier. Don't ask me why. I think the dogs can play with the catnip toy too. Oh God, my dogs are druggies. They're immediately after it. Why is it weirdly 3D when every other animal in this game isn't? It's, yeah, it's not even 3D. It's, it's, uh, it's drawn 2D. It's, I mean, it's drawn to look 3D, but it's not really. Oh, look, it's baby. It's a little ankle biter. I forgot about him. You gotta be fair, because if you pet one dog more than the other, they will never forget it for the rest of their lives. I remember that. He's got this stupid tiny little bark. <laughs> that didgeridoo plays whenever you throw the the boomerang and it stays in flight for a little while. <laughs> This game just has a lot to remember. Hey, stupid, bite it. Bite it. Come here. Bite it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Scrunchy's like, fuck that shit. Mizu, come on. Play tug of war with me. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Bite it. Oh, he won. Come here. Bite it. Bite it, dork. <laughs> Pepe took a siesta. And I think they can play tug of war with each other. <laughs> the stupid little growls they make. They're, they're made out of circles, and it was it just strikes me how creative that was at the time. It allows such... Pepe did a little bit of teleporting there. Just He just hopes you don't notice. But it allows a lot of smooth animation and stuff that wouldn't have been possible on the earlier systems. And it's just super smart. And it also allows for uh, the modding scene to get really good, too. <clears throat> you can get all kinds of animals. I think you can even get chocobos for this game. But... I don't know. It still... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm dying. It still holds a lot of charm. For what it really is. But, uh... I think I'm gonna give it a rest for right now. Because we've, we've been everywhere. We've seen everything. There's an editor. Uh... Ooh, it has to be a bitmap, though. That should tell you how old this game is. You have to have a BMP file. To mess with this let's go over to my pictures folder and see what i can come up with i, I don't even think that uh windows 7 ships with bitmap default pictures anymore oh, i deleted that i deleted that in oh no it can do jpegs okay in that case let's try 
Where's my Dropbox folder? There it is. And forgive me while I do a little self-insert here. Da, 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 da. No items match your search. Oh, they're PNG files. Yeah, that's all right. But anyway, it's got a it's got a placing editor where you can draw your own backdrops and tell it where the horizon is and everything, where the shelves are and all that stuff. And I used to do that too. I used to make them in paint. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the placing editor. This wizard will guide you through the steps necessary to create a fun and exciting placing of your very own. When you are done, you'll be able to save your placing and give it to other pets five owners or post it on your website. You do have a website, don't you? <laughs> of course you do. Everyone cool does. Wow. That's, uh, that's actually super condescending, considering this game came out in, like, I think 2001. Or something ridiculous like that. I have a website now, but if you had told me when I was first using the placing editor that I would get a website and have a website, I probably would have laughed at you. But anyway, that's enough pets for today. That's your surprise. Surprise! Now it's time for Rain World. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that. Give me like 10 seconds to switch my game over and we'll get right into it. So we made it to the industrial area. Uh, last time we tried to play. 